Okay, you guys, so here I am. I'm done coloring everything that needs to be colored because remember, we're just coloring the details that we drew and then we're going to paint the rest of it, okay? So you're gonna get some watercolors. There'll be an assortment of watercolors laying around. Um, I always end up just having my little eight color set, all right? And you guys have so much more than that. Or actually, this might be, yeah, eight colors. We do not wanna use the black, okay? We're not using the black. There's no reason to have your black paint used today, okay? Um, so I have a paintbrush. This one's kind of smaller than probably what your paintbrush is gonna be. And I have a water cup. Remember, the way we use watercolors is we get our paintbrush wet, we swish it, okay? And then we go get our watercolors. So I'm gonna start painting the blue of my water right here. All right. And I'm gonna just paint this blue. Now you can see as I go, you see this little white line right here? That's because I took that white oil pastel and put it there. All right, this is actual watercolor paper. So it's the right tools that you need to make this work really well. So if you happen to come through and do some of that, then um, that should show up pretty good, okay? So I'm gonna paint my blue water. I think everybody should probably just paint blue water and then um, I'll come back and we'll paint our sky. Okay guys, so my um, water is blue and I, again, just like um, we discussed, I only have eight colors. You guys are gonna have a lot of colors. So you're gonna have a lot of options for your sky. You could paint a pink sky, you could paint a purple sky. I only have dark purple, you could paint a dark purple, light purple. You guys will have a lot of different options, okay? So to make I don't want my blue water to be the same color as my blue sky. So to make my sky different, I have made a sunset. And what I'm gonna do, I kind of put a line across for each color. This section's gonna be yellow, and then this section will be orange, and then this section up here will be red. And then I'll do some blending in between, okay? So um, my paintbrush is really small, so this actually took me a while to do. So I'm just gonna do this section yellow to start with. So I can show you how to blend colors, okay? And then I'll go back and finish it in a minute and show you the finished project in just a minute. And I'm gonna do this section orange. And bring it out. Okay, so now I've got my orange and my yellow and now I'm gonna take my orange and just kind of, without getting more paint, I'm just taking the paint that's on there and kind of blending it down into the yellow. So this whole section would have been painted yellow. This whole section will be painted yellow. And then when I'm done with the orange, I just take a little bit of water and go right across where they meet, okay? And then that'll make a really pretty blend. And then I would do the same here. This will be orange, this will be red, and then I do a really pretty blend. And try to stay out of your clouds if you drew clouds, right? So I'm gonna paint around my clouds. All right, you guys, give me just a second. I'll get that done and then I'll show you again. Okay, you guys, so here is my hippo with the sunset. Okay, and I just realized we forgot to write our name. So the bottom actually where I painted my water is really close to dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write my name right here with a Sharpie and you can do the same because we're gonna need to get your picture with these and then also put them in the drying rack until tomorrow, okay? I'm sure these are gonna look really great. I can't wait to see your adorable little hippos, okay? All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another fun day of art camp.